In this video, I am going to discuss the effect of subdivision. Subdivision uh, on free surface effect. Well, in simple term, I am going to discuss the effect of uh, dividing the tank. Say, if I divide the tank in various equal parts, what will happen to free surface effect? or free surface correction. So here we need to take box shape tank. The tank is box shaped. That means the tank is a rectangular tank. So this box shape tank say the breadth is B and the length is L in this direction. So the free surface moment of this box shape vessel is given by I into di where I is the moment of inertia or second moment of area and di is the density of liquid inside the tank density of liquid inside the tank is given by di and I is the moment of inertia about center line and this can be assumed that this is the uh, center line well for a box shape vessel the value of i is l b cube by 12 into d i so it should be noted that the free surface effect is dependent on b it also depends on l but on b it is b raised to the power 3 b cube l b cube by 12 into di so i can write that this is my fsm original fsm original now the same tank but i subdivide this tank into two equal parts so here the breadths become b by 2 and this compartment will also have b by 2 i have subdivided this tank into two equal parts so there are two tanks now one and two the free surface moment of one tank say this one tank will be l and instead of b i will write b by 2 raised to the power 3 by 12 into di now since there are two tanks the total free surface moment will be twice of this because this free surface moment of this tank and free surface moment of this tank will be same so all i have to do two multiplied by uh, this this one so i'll get this l into b by 2 cube divided by 12 into di well it is much better if i retain this characteristic lb cube by 12 into di so what i will do i will write 2 like this into 1 by 2 and this to the power 3 that is 2 to the 4 to the 8 into l b cube by 12 into di well it's very easy to uh, figure it out b and 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 raised to the power 3 is 1 by 8 and that is what exactly i have written here or i can simplify this 2 and this 8 so i get 1 by 4 into l b cube by 12 l b cube by 12 into di and this is nothing but original fsm so this is 1 by 4 into fsm original so if i divide the tank into two part my fsm my fsm is 1 by 4 of original fsm similarly if i divide this tank into three equal parts so this one is b by 3 this one is also b by 3 and this one 
is also b by 3 and if I, I divide this thing into three equal parts like this so there are three tanks now one two and three now free surface moment of one tank will be l b cube and b is b by 3 now by 12 into di where di is the density of liquid inside the tank and now total free surface moment will be 3 multiplied by free surface moment of one tank well the free surface moment of this tank and this tank and this tank rather tank 1 2 and 3 will be same so 3 into lb cube lb by 3 cube by 12 into di now all i have to do is just uh, need to do simplify this further that 3 into this 1 by 3 1 by 3 raised to the power 3 is 27 I can write like this that 1 by 3 raised to the power 3 is 1 by 27 and into I can write like this simply LB cube by 12 into di and well this can be written like this 1 by 9 it get cancelled 1 by 9 into LB cube by 12 into di and well if you remember if the tank was not divided this lb cube by 12 into di is the original free surface moment so i can write like this fsm original and this is the total free surface moment so we conclude that if a tank is divided into three equal part the free surface moment is reduced by 1 by 9. So we have a very interesting relationship which says that if a tank is subdivided, subdivided equally into n equal parts well I am writing equal and equal again and again but that just to emphasize the tank is subdivided into n equal parts the free surface movement will reduce by 1 by n square and that is the reason these DB tanks are divided into port starboard and center and also in the DB tanks there are uh, subdivisions